makes it more effective. Great, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Um, I'm now walking to the next booth here. Uh, here we have Aram Association, and I'm gonna talk and learn more about their project. Um, I'm gonna now talk with Michelle Aharonian, and we are gonna talk about Aram. Yes. That's my first impression. It's huge, and uh, I'm feeling just frustrated because there's so many things to see, people to talk to. That I mean, uh, this, there's so much little time for me. I wish the event have uh, lasted one more day. Yes, <laughs> uh, I share that idea with you, but luckily we will have the recorded online stream, and we can follow some of it afterwards. Where does Aram Association bring together identity, online first, space, virtual space, traces of history? All of these, you have right. all, a mixture of all of these. That's Tell right. us more about your project. Where did the idea come from? Oh, how are you working on this? Well, the idea came from a man called Garbi Sartin. He was born in Marseille in 1930 and unfortunately passed away three, three years ago. And uh, he was the son of, uh, of an Armenian refugee from the San Jacques of Sebastia who had lost everything he had, his family, he was an orphan and uh, all he had uh, is, was his identity as an Armenian and he learned to, to speak red and white Armenian by drawing letters in the sands of the deserts, in the desert sands, you know, in Iraq. So his son, Gabis, uh, thought uh, I have to keep everything uh, about the Armenian uh, um, alphabet alive. So he collected documents, letters, uh, manuscripts, uh, newspapers, magazines, photos, maps, posters, everything. He collected them and it was in a home garage. It was filled, as I said, from the floor to the ceiling. And some friends of his decided one day to, to reach another level. So we find a wider space, uh, we stored our material um, in our archive in the most efficient way and we decided to make them available for a larger audience, you know. So we started this project of digitizing our documents and the main project is the digitization of Haraj newspaper which was established by Shavar Misakyan in 1925 until 2009. It's all written in uh, Western Armenian and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, our purpose is to maintain also uh, the Western Armenian language because we often focused on Armenia and the Eastern Armenian language. It's good, but we don't have to forget the other language. So we have digitized uh, the years from 1925 until 1960 and we're trying to raise funds to achieve the whole project. So it will be available for everybody for free. It is free access, interactive, and um, I must stress that we are all volunteers on that project. Great, thank you so much for sharing this with us. If you haven't checked Aram Association yet, go to their webpage, look at the, uh, some of the amazing work they have done. I'm now gonna